Hi guys, this is Mina from Mind Peace. So I'm here for some wonderful training for all you gorgeous mums. I am a bit delayed. Um, I was hoping to get this out a little bit earlier, but that's mum life, isn't it? <laughs> you can all relate to that. So I'm going to actually share a um, screen with you guys, so I can set, so I can actually share the actual presentation with you as well. So why am I here? Well, for those of you who, who are new to my group who have just joined recently, my name is Mina Ahmed. I'm the founder of Mind Peace. I started this because I was challenged with mum guilt and I understood what it, I didn't understand what it was actually. And I had a lot of postnatal depression and that really, really um, impacted my life, how I was living my life. So today I'm here to actually talk to you about, um, let's go back. Let's just go back a bit. The nature of these techie stuff. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk to you. So this is going to be like a little mini class, lots of value. Um, it's not a long master class, but it's still going to give you lots and lots of value. So I'm going to talk to you about emotional mastery over some unpleasant feelings that we have in our body and in our mind. And I'm going to also give you a few tips of how to release them as well. So why is this important? Because if you move through these eight feelings I'm going to talk to you about very, very briefly, they can actually help you with mum guilt. And that's what you're here for, really. That's why you've jumped on here. So your story and memories, they all carry something called like an emotional charge in the brain. So uh, a lot of people might have heard of the term vacus nerve. So it's, it's You hear the, the term being sort of, dotted about here and there. So the vagus nerve is responsible for emotional regulation. Now, when, so this carries the emotional charge. When we have a memory or a story, what happens is that the we become quite unsettled and, and we have these feelings and we, we decide what we're going to do with them, whether we're going to actually listen to them or whether we're going to shove them down. Um, and so what I've noticed is that many of my clients, and even this happened to myself as well, is when we have an unpleasant memory that we're holding on to, the feelings are holding you hostage. They're holding you hostage to break through, to have to have um, to have success in your business. They have uh, they they interfere with your self esteem. They they don't boost confidence. So we want the confidence. That's the idea. And they don't let you become your authentic self, whoever you are in your skin. And and one of the thing is that it also doesn't let you stay present in the present moment long enough. I mean, lots of people want to stay in the present moment as much as they can. And that's usually a personal goal for people. So I'm going to give you a short story about something that happened to me when I was younger. So I had a step sibling and there was my sister's wedding and uh, we'd all gone to the shops. And when we got to the shops, uh, she picked out a particular uh, design of fabric that we were all going to have this we were all going to get all our clothes in the same fabric because obviously it was cheaper. <laughs> uh, but I said, and I was only 13, 14, I was, and I said, oh, but I don't want the same. I want to have something different. I saw a fabric next to it and I said, how much you want on that? And uh, unfortunately, she was a bully. That's the bottom line. <laughs> and she said to me, why do you think you're so special? Why do you think you're so special? You're not special and you're going to have exactly as everybody else and you're not any different. And from that moment, I made a decision, my brain made a decision that I couldn't appear as if I was unique or special. So I couldn't do that because that's what my brain decided that in that moment that whenever something, um, I couldn't be special with my time, I couldn't be special with my finances, I couldn't be special with my clothes, I couldn't be special in anything. And uh, so therefore I would underplay being special. So if I wanted to get something special for myself, I had to make sure I got it for somebody else first. Um, so, so this is how guilt can just, it's a very short story, but it's just to give you the idea about how guilt can hold you back in things. And, the, and it can actually shape your life as well. And so as you're listening to my story, there may be a story that comes up for you about a memory, about a guilt memory, or someone's told you a bully, <laughs> or somebody's decided that they've decided their view is more important, or they've decided that you are a particular way. So you may be carrying that story. So what was your story? So I want you to have a think about that. And what memory came up for you just now? These are really important questions because um, this is how we get to the feelings. Now, there's eight unpleasant feelings that we really need to become 
super kind of vigilant and aware of. And we've got these listed here. We've got sadness, we've got shame, we've got helplessness, anger, vulnerability, embarrassment, disappointment, and frustration. Now, it's really important that we don't label these as bad feelings or negative feelings. They're just uncomfortable feelings. They're in your body. They're uncomfortable. Um, so just becoming aware of these eight feelings, these, these eight unpleasant feelings that we feel, they can make a massive difference to how you are showing up as a mum. So if you have any of these kind of almost like stuck inside of you uh, because of any particular memory, any particular trigger, um, these can really impact the way that you're showing up as a mum in business and, and, and as a mum yourself. So sadness, shame, helplessness, anger, vulnerability, embarrassment, disappointment, frustration. So just become aware of these feelings. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Rosenberg's reset model. And it's a three step model. And <clears throat> this is going to help you to really look at the feelings itself. So you've got your emotions that I just laid out earlier. And we're just going to look at a three step model. The first thing is that you make the decision to allow yourself to fully feel your feelings and your thoughts and your bodily sensations. And I'm going to talk to you about the body in a second. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to choose awareness rather than avoidance. So what I mean by that is if I, if you don't remember a memory or sensation or something comes up and you just kind of dismiss it, what that does is that that's, that's called avoidance. So you're not going to, you're not going to be honest with yourself. You're going to say actually, oh, you know, I don't want to say anything bad about somebody else. The problem is you're actually not allowing yourself the awareness that's happened and therefore, you go into what we call avoidance instead. So the first thing is to feel. Is give yourself permission to feel. The feelings that you're feeling are okay. And, and the feelings that you're feeling, don't second guess them. And the feelings that you're feeling, don't justify them. Because this is what we call avoidance as well. Just accept them as they are. Step two. So if you feel, basically step one is if you feel it, it's real for you. Step two, in any given situation you experience and move through, whichever of the eight unpleasant feelings that I've just uh, surfaced, like, for example, sadness, shame, helplessness, anger, embarrassment, disappointment, frustration, vulnerability, any any time you feel this, um, avoiding these difficult feelings gets in the way of your confidence, happiness, and your authenticity and success. So just really, really, again, it reiterates the first step, really, saying that, don't ignore these. The, the opposite of that, if you ignore all of those feelings, you're going to you're going to leave yourself um, not ac accessing confidence, you're going to leave yourself not accessing happiness, you know, you're not going to become authentic in your businesses. Um, or in, in the way that you're, you're trying to bring up your children, you're not going to be authentic in terms of success. So what's going to show up instead is you're going to hide those feelings, but you're going to try and be a great mom. You can hide those feelings and you're going to try and do really well in business. Whereas if you actually accept all these feelings, that's when the breakthroughs happen. So confidence and all those things that you really, really want to get, they will only come from releasing that, that feeling. So step three is your experience or whatever you experience and move through these when you once you do this, uh, these unpleasant feelings by riding one or more 90 seconds wave of bodily sensations. And I'll, I'll explain to you that, uh, that in a second. Um, so these bodily sensations help you access and begin to understand what you are feeling emotionally. Feelings are generally known as physical level before you are consciously aware of them. So here what I want to talk to you about is that you only have to sit with that uncomfortable feeling between 60 and 90 seconds. Yeah. I say only. <laughs> it's not very long, really, 60 to 90, but 60 to 90 seconds when we're feeling guilty and we decide to do something else instead of feeling it. Um, 60 to 90 seconds when we feel embarrassed, if we decide to do something else instead of sitting with it. 60 to 90 seconds of when we feel shame, uh, sit with it rather than avoid it. Can you see how it is challenging, but it's so important? It's, it's what we call a wave. You've just got to sit with it for that long. You've got to sit with it, that feeling. Uh, because what you'll notice is that the feeling will actually start to come into your body. Now, I know it's really super scary. <laughs> I know these feelings that can be super scary to feel, but they are your paths to you. Yeah, this is, this is about you. Now, neuroscience has now understands that these eight feelings are triggered, can, are triggered 
and they create a chemical rush in your brain and they activate inside the body. And what we feel emotionally is first felt in the body. This is why I'm saying if we stop and, and realize, or we have sec 60 seconds or 90 seconds, because it takes a while for our body to really read the message. Um, because what we do is when we're trying to avoid, when you feel uncomfortable, it's usually in your body. People bypass the body. So, so bodily signs could be something like you're clenching your jaw, you're, you're, you're holding your fists together, you're tightening your body, uh, you're looking down maybe, or anything anything that's coming up for you, or you're holding, or you're, you notice a palpitation, or you notice that you're sweating. So it could be any sensation that comes up in your body. You could feel the churning in your stomach and you're ignoring it. Uh, you can feel like, oh my God, I don't feel very good. These, these are bodily sensations. Don't rush the bodily sensation start to tune into your body now what people tend to do is they don't sit with it for even 60 to 90 seconds they go right uncomfortable feeling in the kitchen <laughs> in the fridge so our heads inside the fridge and we're like eat you know we'll just stuff it down with food we'll just go out socializing we'll, we'll go onto social media i'll feel less uncomfortable I'll, I'll start drinking um i'll have extra caffe caffeinated drinks i'll overwork i'll pretend it's not happening this is really avoidance techniques uh, so overworking or the means like that, they're not going to take, then it's not going to go away. <laughs> the sensation is going to come back because what the mind wants is to accept them and sit with them, uh, with them, sorry, there's an error there, at least 90 seconds and then release them. And we're running away from it. So your action steps for this week, listen to your feelings, stop long enough to notice your bodily sensations, tune into them, don't run from unpleasant feelings. Breathe, because we will have access to breath. Breathe, write it down. Record it on a recorder voice on your phone anyway. Just sound it out. Uh, talk to somebody. Have a chat over it. Get support for those feelings instead of numbing out. Okay, so this is really what I want to talk to you about, that it's much. it might seem easier in the short run to numb this feeling out, in the long run, what is it costing you? What is it costing you for not telling somebody how you feel? What is it costing you? It's definitely impacting your well-being and your mind. It's definitely affecting your physical health. It's definitely affecting the way that you're going to progress in life. It's definitely affecting your relationships. It's definitely affecting your finances. It's affecting your business. It's affecting the way that you think about yourself, show up as a mum or anyone, these things do affect you. So this is why I wanted to quickly jump on today. Again, I'm always in a rush and I'm so sorry about that because <laughs> I'm really passionate about my work and I, and I just like to do everything and as many things as I can in my life um, because, I'm, because I myself have gone through this journey of healing. Um, I've gone through this journey of like understanding my emotions and understanding that actually that if I can just ride it for about 90 seconds, eventually I'll feel better. And when I feel better, I merge powerfully. And that's the key. We, we're all going to have still have these feelings. I'm still going to have days that I'm going to have these feelings and not going to have time for my feelings. But I know what the triggers are for my body now. And I understand my body better. And I understand my mind better as well. And so I have to remind myself as well. So this is just tips and actions and steps that you can try at home. Um, all of these are free. You can breathe for free. <laughs> you can have a quiet time for free. You could talk to somebody for free. You could write your journal for free. These are powerful steps, but they are about connecting you back to you. Because you know who you are and you know who you've lost. Yeah. So, so it's really, really important that you do connect back to you. So I just wanted to really jump on very quickly and give you some value. It's a very short mini masterclass, and that's what it was meant to be. I didn't want to go on forever and ever because I want you to get the value within that so that you can talk about how you feel through this process. Look at the three-step process, accept your feelings, sit with them, let the wave go, and understand each emotion as well. So sometimes you can have a wave of more than, so you might you have these eight feelings that are coming up for you, and it doesn't mean that they're all going to come at the same time. So you could be angry 
and sad at the same time as well. So sometimes it switches between the emotions. So just, but sometimes you might misinterpret what is it? Is it anger or is it actually sadness? So sit with it a little longer because sometimes when we're really angry, what we really realize is that we're really sad. Um, and sometimes when we're sad, what we realize is actually we're really angry about something. And so it's about being honest with your emotions. I hope you found that really useful and uh, keep continuing being uh, gorgeous members of Mind Peace. I wanted to give you a bit of value because you've been on my group for a very long time. And, uh, and thank you so much for those who've just recently joined me. And I continue to give value and serve my beautiful community. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>